Ben, we just dropped in. You're rehearsing. It's Monday lunchtime. So it's, it's two years since we last spoke. Yeah. So you must be dying to get back on the stage and do pantomime. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so two years since we, since we sat in the bar during the technical rehearsal for Jack and the Beanstalk. So yeah, it's um, I can't wait. I can't wait. I mean, we we did we did sort of do a did a did a panto. Obviously, uh, try put on a panto last year, uh, Treasure Island. But we only got eleven shows in before the tier system meant that we had to close early, which was you know gutting. But um, but but for eight hundred and sixty-four people, I think it is, they got to see it. So you know, we, it happened. It was it did happen. So but yeah, two two years ago we spoke. And Jimmy, uh, does this mean it's even more special this year? Of course, yes. Um, it's because we can actually get a full panto scale done rather than minimising down what it was last year. And hopefully we'll get through a whole run this year rather than just 11 shows. And obviously had a lot more audience members to that 800 nod that we had last year. So how's, how's, <coughs> how's the rehearsals going? Really well. It's always good fun. Uh, this week's a little bit harder because we're straight into tech week, so uh, it's longer days. But it's all about the technicians, it's, so it's all for them really, rather than us. We've been rehearsing two weeks ahead of that. So. And we, we mentioned the show as if it's an out of body thing. What's the name? Of, what's the name, the of, the name of the show? Is Robin Hood, and I'm playing Dame Auntie Dolly, Maid Marion's auntie. How long have you been a dame? Um, this is my ninth year, I think, as dame. And it's my seventh year here in at the Harlow Playhouse. Oh, so what do you enjoy about being the dame? I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> um, um, I just love, because I'm there for the mums and the dads, you know. Uh, Ben's part is for all the children, so he gets all the silly bits and he's there for them. I'm there for the mums and the dads, so I'm a little bit cheekier, a little bit more tongue-in-cheek, if you like, with my comedy. And is it a different pantomime every night? Are you quite... I mean, you must see things. You must see audience members. You, even you think, oh, I've got, I've got to get that person involved. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, if you used to come and see the first night, by the, if you come to see it again halfway through, it'd be a completely different show. If you saw it on the last night, again, it'd be another different show. As in, because every audience member makes it completely different. And obviously, live theatre, you just never know what's going to happen. And Ben, um, tell us about your character. Uh, so I am playing uh, Silly Willy Scarlet, uh, and I am Dame Valor Dolores Van Scarlet's uh, son, stupid son, uh, and I am Maid Marian's cousin, and I'm in love with Robin Hood, and he's my hero, and I, yeah, and I am basically uh, silly. I mean, the clue's <laughs> in the name. I am ridiculous and silly, and say and do silly things that hopefully people will find funny. You love pantomime, don't you? I love it, absolutely love it, yeah. I mean, it's my, it was the first thing I ever saw, and obviously here, when my mum was Aladdin, um, and, and it's, yeah, and I've, 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 it's, I love it. It's my favourite, favourite time of year. It's, I love Christmas, I love panto, I love seeing them, and I, I try and see as many as I can, and obviously it's difficult because we, a lot of them clash, but I, I try and see as many as I can, and yeah, I just love doing them, I just love them. It's just, it feels like Christmas to me. And there are other aspects. You, there's a band in there, isn't there? It's not yeah. not recorded, press a button music. Is um, that important? Oh, yeah, it makes a huge difference. And when you've got a live band, they can go with you. And quite often, if, they, if it's backing tracks, then technology isn't always great and on top form. So if the track skips, then you're stuck behind. Whereas if the band, that they just go along with you. So it makes it a little bit more easier. Our little clan, you know, I bring three generations of our family to to see the pantomime. Is it a pantomime for all the generations? One hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that. Uh, that's that's what that's our, always our aim. I mean, you know, we never know if we've succeeded until we've got it in front of an audience. And as the you know the the comic and the dame, that's sort of this is the wait the waiting game now because we, we heavily rely on the audience. Yeah, we, don't we you know we we learn our lines and then <coughs> in, in the read through you get you get people people laugh because they're hearing the jokes for the first time. Two and a half weeks in, they're not laughing anymore because they've it's heard grown. them. They've heard them a number of times, so you would start to sort of panic and go, "Oh, is this funny anymore? I don't know." And then you, and so you need to get in front of an audience. But yeah, the the aim is always, you know, from the youngest possible audience member to the oldest, you should get something from the show. Um, it's, it's for everyone. That is the beauty of pantomime. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time.